Plane to use on it uh, 46. I give the summary in Hindi and English both. Bling Willy. Sonnet uh, Shakespeare's Shakespeare and the number 46 have a curious relationship. The theory that the bard translated the 46th psalm uh, in the King Lame's version of the Bible because Shakespeare would have been 46 when work on the translation was nearing its completion and the 46th word of the Paslam is Sheikh and the 46th word from the end is Spear Persist but what about his 46th sonnet? Mine eye and heart are at a mortal war. How to divide the conquest of the sight? Um, mine eye, my heart, my pleasure sight would bar. My heart, mine eye, the freedom of that right. My heart doth plead that though in him doth lie a closest never pierced with crystal eye, but the defendant doth and plead dine and says in him the fear appearance life lies to side. The title is uh, imperiled. A quest of thoughts, all tenants to the hearts, and by their verdict is determined. The clear eyes, mighty and dear heart part, as this mine eyes do is thine outward part, and my heart sight thine inward love of art. Sonnet 46 is like Sonnet uh, 44 and 45. One of appeared. In that case, the bard was uh, pondering the four classical elements, and in Sonnet 46 and 47, he is exploring the four classical elements, and in Sonnet 46 uh, and 47, he Exploring the relationship between the eye and the heart. As the opening line here makes clear to perhaps is the content of the sonnet. My eyes and my heart are engaged in a fight to the death over who should on your image each wants to bar the other from access to your image my heart argues that it knows the truth of you and no i no matter how clear has ever penance the truth but my eyes argues that the see the true you and the real essence of you resides in my eyes not my heart to settle this matter i love but together put together series of various thoughts that's like a panel of expert a sort of thought jury all of whom pay rent to the heart and their verdict will determine which part of your belongs to thy and which to the heart the conclusion that my eyes on your outward visible appearance while my heart has rights over what's inside your inward heart if you will my heart in short has a right over your heart it's possible to analyze sonnet 46 is light of renaissance believes in Neoplash 
Shinism. That is uh, that there is a difference between the substance of something containing its true essence and the sh and its shadow. The mortal world between eye and heart certainly take on another layer of meaning when an analyzed in light of Napoleonic uh, Neoplatonic ideas. Which Shakespeare's had is a contemporary John Donne, among other Renaissance uh, writers, were away, aware of and used in the work. So, our policy begins with military language, mine eyes, and art are at a mortal war, conquest of sight, but the Satist uh, turns to the law and uh, Shakespeare language take on a decident, uh, decidedly legally, legal flavor, defendant, uh, title, tenant, uh, verdict, uh, moiety. The impression or picture we get is of a courtroom with the case going on in front of us, a near conceit, although. The jury's verdict and the poem's conclusion don't really advance us any further than we were at the beginning of the sonnet. Don Patterson has observed in his reading Shakespeare's sonnet. If you enjoyed this answer of sonnet 46, you can learn more about Shakespeare's sonnet here. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching my channel, my English magazine. There I explain to you Sonnet uh, 46. Thank you guys. You are watching my channel, my English magazine on YouTube, my blogger, my Facebook, Google, everywhere. Twitter, LinkedIn. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.